bum 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 the Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum. So I want to talk about some distracted driving that I've noticed uh, recently. I notice one thing about distracted driving. Everybody thinks that everybody else is distracted. Most people don't realize how distracted they are when they're in the midst of it, right? It's that one exceptional phone call that just can't wait because because whatever, right? Usually it really isn't, right? I've never seen anybody who was distracted because they were busy talking to the President of the United States or the CEO of even Phoenix College, right? I, I've never heard of one distracted phone call that, that was on that level, right? I've never seen somebody who was literally starving to death. They just got released from a concentration camp. They're on their way back to their apartment. They can't wait to dig into their food. They gotta get to McDonald's and they gotta dig into that fast food bag. Usually not, right? Usually the people who are the most distracted while, while, with eating while driving is the people who actually do need to miss that McDonald's meal, right? I, I very rarely see somebody, um, you get the idea, right? Everybody has their own excuse for why they need to be distracted this one time, right? Um, they're in a hurry to go particularly nowhere where they're just going to have to wait anyway, right? They're in a hurry to uh, to cut in front of you just to get to the same red light, right? And um, one thing I noticed about my accidents, I want to uh, revisit a car accident or a, a few car accidents that I got myself into. And what was really funny was, as I'm talking to people about this, usually they'll go, oh, I was never distracted. Yeah, I did get into a few fender benders, but this, but that. Yeah, yeah, that's one too many. What people don't realize is that it's one too many. Last time I checked, uh, uh, no, no, nobody says that they, there's no high score of how, how many car accidents I've gotten into, right? When you die, your tombstone doesn't say, hey, I got into eight car accidents. I'm the strongest person in our family, right? <laughs> Maybe the eighth one even killed you, right? No, nobody's going to put that on their tombstone, right? And so um, I was talking to... Uh, this is why I don't like to go to the board game meetup anymore. These people are just incredibly arrogant and don't even know what they're saying. But he was saying, oh, I would, uh, the only thing I would eat in my, in, in my car, he, he was talking about, oh, he might eat a burrito in his car. Yeah, but it drips everywhere no matter where I eat it anyway. And then I said, well, uh, how's, uh, how's your driving? You, you, I take it you've never been in an accident? Oh, yeah, I've been in an accident. What happened was that I, I was, um, I was so consumed in thought because I had my my, my girlfriend had just left me. He, that's what, that's what he said, and uh, uh, he he didn't notice that traffic in front of him had slowed down, and he flipped over, and the car flipped twice, and he had to climb out of the sunroof. And I was saying, you call that not a serious distraction? I mean, yeah, that time it might have been your girlfriend. I'm sure you also eat in front of the car all the time, which is probably what allowed you to think it was okay to daydream in front of the steering wheel. I actually daydreamed about a girl too, which contributed to an accident. I've never had an eating while driving related accident. I think in large part because I don't like uh, to, to, to uh, eat in, in front of the car anyway. I like to pay attention to my meal. But in the past, I used to eat in front of the steering wheel and I think it contributed to my daydreaming accidents because it kind of gave me the license to do whatever I want in front of the wheel, right? If you can eat, what's to stop you from texting? What's to stop you from daydreaming? What's to stop you from um, uh, doing anything else behind the wheel, right? Driving when you're tired. What's to stop you from driving when you're uncomfortable, when you're angry? See, my, um, I actually, uh, this is where I learned to use some creative terminology. I got in a little, little bit of trouble for um, sleeping on one of the benches here in campus and I explained that, you know, I, I, I know myself, I have autism and I don't like to drive when I'm angry and I apologize and um, I, 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 I can't believe I explained that away and because um, I'm sure the security here doesn't like it, like people who drive when they're angry either and so that was good. Um, but I used to routinely drive like that and I wasn't lying to the... the the security guard here. I, I really did sleep here because I wasn't comfortable driving that day. I, I, I had just um, had a very frustrating experience and um, I, I wasn't in the mood to, uh, the right mood to drive. Feel free to leave a comment on what you would do. It's nine o'clock at night, you're just off work, there aren't any buses or anything, and, and you're in a 
situation where you can't drive. Maybe you had, um, you're angry, you, uh, you, 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 you're, you're feeling ill, or whatever the situation is, right? But anyways, it's all good. But I was daydreaming while driving. This was eight years ago, and what had happened was that um, I had just broken up with a girl because she wanted children, and um, I was kind of in between relationships. There was this other girl that I had in mind, and uh, I knew she wasn't relationship material. I only wanted to mess with her to gain some inspiration, right? So sometimes, um, for example, right now, so sometimes one of the reasons I don't get myself into car accidents or that I don't um, get myself into other trouble is that I think about a girl that I know at a board at, at a different board game made up and I, I really don't want to embarrass myself in front of her right sometimes I'll date a girl for those kind of purposes right for motivational purposes and then I'll break up with her I have a little bit of a nickname for, for this kind of concept uh, you see Taylor Swift loves to date guys to to gain inspiration to write songs right so dating somebody only for personal gains like that i call it swifting somebody right you swift somebody with if you date somebody with the idea that you're only doing it to, to motivate yourself and you're not in it for the long term right you swift somebody i had just broken up with this girl that i actually liked but she wanted children and now i was with a girl that i had planned to swift and i was thinking about all that when i got into my accident and one thing I learned from that accident, it's been eight years now, there was another accident. I was, um, I was really angry during the, the accident before that. What had happened was I had a, a power-hungry boss that was working at a tech giant, and um, he, uh, uh, you know, he micromanaged stuff, and I was angry about that. It was a Sunday night. I was on my way back from visiting my girlfriend in a different city and um, all I could think about was the dramas the next day and here's the thing those weren't the only two times I was daydreaming behind the wheel I probably used to do it quite regularly even to this day I find myself having a difficult time resisting the temptation to daydream I had another near miss um, a couple weeks ago I was daydreaming again and the reason I was daydreaming was because um, I was thinking about how much discrimination I face here at Phoenix College for being solo sexual. And I wanted to think about how some of, some of the other uh, solo sexuals around me handle this. I have a colleague who is solo sexual, but he's mostly closeted, right? In fact, um, he doesn't even consider himself solo sexual. He still dates here and there. And um, I was thinking about um, Mary Curry, because after she became widowed, she never remarried, and I don't think she wanted to either, right? And how she would handle that. Of course, she was 38 years old, and um, uh, she already had most of her career behind her at that point in terms of discoveries and all that. And she had some status, right? And then I thought about her reincarnation. Uh, bonus points if you know who I'm talking about, but I think she got reincarnated into a singer-songwriter today, and um, I was thinking about how her reincarnation handles being solo sexual, but then I realized she has a lot more money than I do, right? So she doesn't care if job discrimination happens, right? And also, um, she has a lot of her life taken care of, right? If she gets really busy like how I am right now, she could eat out every day, right? And um, I, I'm kind of eating out almost every day these uh, this month because I want to see how that could be like. And I'm like, gee, if only I could live like this forever, right? <laughs> and, well, I'm kind of taking a break from everything because life is just spun out of control as of late. I was thinking about that. And also, I was thinking about Mary Curry's reincarnation. And um, it doesn't seem like in their country they get discriminated as badly because she has um, a former um, opponent... Uh, in a television contest. Her opponent is now married and has a child. And I don't see them having a problem hanging around her, right? So that would never fly here in the United States, right? Imagine Kelly Clarkson decides to be openly solo sexual, doesn't ever date again. I think she is solo sexual, by the way, not as open. And do you think it's realistic that on a Thanksgiving or a Christmas, she could spend time with, uh, I don't know who else, um, maybe Carrie Underwood and, and her husband. I don't think there's a chance in the world, right? If, if she were married as a couple, the four of them could probably spend time together, right? Anyways, 
my point is that you could you could daydream about all this stuff and think you're getting away with it until the moment you can't. Up until that one second, yeah, I can daydream and get away with it. I can get I can daydream and get away with it. Come, you know that could you could do it up until that very last moment of your life, right? Whether it be eating and driving, daydreaming while driving, drinking and driving, uh, uh, making dangerous left turns when there's another route, right? You can you can do that all you want and get away with it until that one time you can't and it'll be all over and you can say hello to Mary Curry assuming you go there right you might say hello to Satan if you if you continue to text to drive right this is the Peter dislike show bum 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 the Peter dislike show bum 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 bum